Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're looking at a question from Hungary where we are given a quadratic equation of three variables and from there, we are trying to prove some sort of equality between them. To me, this question is very challenging because of the limited amount of information that is given. It's almost like we have to do a trial and error approach to get to the point where we can prove what the question is asking for. So to begin, I'm just going to go ahead and do a little bit of cheating by working backwards. I know we are not supposed to do that, but I want to give myself an idea of what we are dealing with. So let me copy down what we are trying to prove. I have A minus B is equal to B minus C. If I rearrange the variables around, I can actually do A plus C equal to 2B. From here, I get an idea that these are the identities that I need to establish in the original equation. Let's start by copying down the original equation. I have C minus A bracket square minus 4A minus B, B minus C is equal to 0. Let's go ahead and open up all the brackets. So what I have now is a square plus c square minus 2ac minus 4 bracket ab minus ac minus b square plus bc. From here, that's equal to a square plus c square minus 2ac minus 4ab minus 4ac. I'm sorry, plus 4ac plus 4b square minus 4bc. At this point, I'm going to break the equation into three separate parts. And I'm going to write out each part using a different color to make things clearer. So what I have is a square plus c square minus 2ac plus 4ac minus 4ab minus 4bc plus 4b square equal to 0. From here, on the red color part, I can write that as a square plus 2ac plus c square. On the green color, on the green color part, I will take out the common term, which is 4b, and I have a plus c within the bracket. As for the final component, I'm going to rewrite that as 2b square, and that's equal to 0. If you take a closer look at the red color part, you'll notice that we can actually write that as a plus c square. Everything else remains the same, so I have a plus c square minus 4b a plus c plus 2b square equal to 0. And if you remember from the beginning of the video, we have said that we are trying to establish the terms of a plus c and 2b into the equation. So I think so far we are on the right track. And in fact, if you take a closer look at this whole expression, itself is actually another quadratic expression. What I have is actually a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. And that's equal to 0. So let's tidy things up properly. Let me write down this quadratic expression in the proper form of a minus b square. So what I have is a plus c minus 2b square is equal to 0. From here, of course, I have a plus c minus 2b is equal to 0. I can rearrange this equation to be a minus b plus c minus b equal to 0. If I move plus c minus b to the right hand side, what I have now is a minus b is equal to b minus c, which is the expression that the original, equation, original question is asking us to prove. So that concludes today's video. I thank you for watching. Have a good day. God bless.